In part two, I am going to speak about genealogy of the nine Mago, Goma and nine Hans, nine numerology and triad, worldwide goddesses and symbols of nine numerology. Okay, genealogy of the nine Mago. Do you see that chart? That's the chart that is uh, described in the Budoji, the book, the primary text of Magoism that I claimed. In the beginning, there was Mago. Well, this is a really brief description of this, uh, the whole context because I don't have time to get into this uh, Magoist cosmogony. And Mago, she is the first being, first mother, so she had no one else, no God, no male God. She's the first mother. She gave birth to two daughters. Their names are Kung Yi and So Yi, or Goddess Kung or Goddess So. And this is also partner genesis. The birth without any male partner. These are the first beings. So, and Kung Yi and Soe, Mago's two daughters, together with Mago, it forms the triad, Samshin, the triad deity. And Kung Yi and Soe give birth to actually each Kung Yi. Each, Kung Yi and Soi each give birth to two daughters. And it says, actually, this is very tricky, but I am going to go with my own interpretation. So I, I consider this so-called the third generation as all daughters. That makes sense because according to Mago folklore, Mago story says that Mago had eight daughters. And we have the uh, tradition of eight uh, sonyas eight uh, so-called immortals, hmm? eight, uh, eight shinsons. You know, the Tao is called these figures uh, shinson or oh, immortals. I mean, uh, they call shinsons, but in English it's translated immortals. But I put another image here. Do you see this cell division? From one, it becomes two, and it becomes four, and it becomes eight. And you see the, on the very far, Right, then that's called the uh, flower of the flower of life. Hmm? And this will correspond to the genealogy of the Mago Creatrix or nine Magos. Here's the one in more detail. We need to get into a later generation. So this is what the Budoji says. Okay, now we have eight, um, eight daughters or eight granddaughters of Mago Samshin, the Mago Triad. And uh, the Budo, according to the Budoji, these uh, two, uh, the, the eight daughters are represented as a sort of a couple, two people as one. So it becomes, uh, there is a clan called the Hwangung clan, Cheonggung clan, Baekso clan, and Hukso clan. This, as you will see, actually this explains about the uh, origin of uh, surnames. You know, our family names, it will follow, you know, Kung and then Hwangung and Cheonggung, So and Soe and Baekso. You see these lines and their, uh, their uh, descendants also follow this one. So anyhow, I'm going to go uh, to the next one. So next generation, uh, this couple produces, you know, Budoji has two contradictory or two uh, little ambiguous accounts about the first one, just like partner genesis. They give birth, uh, these daughters give birth by the side. So this is another form of partner genesis, which is the virgin, it's better known as the virgin birth. And, uh, and then another one is this, uh, the heavenly, Man, or it's not man actually, it's, a, it's called Chonin and Chonyo. It's hard to translate it, this in, but uh, 
After all, after long uh, years of consideration and uh, research, I realized it's more like a hemoprodite. You know, the, the being that has both male and female together. And that really, that uh, explains this one. Anyhow, these four couples uh, gave birth or produced their progeny, which is, here's, here are men, the introduction of men, the emergency of men which is three sons and three daughters. So each couple, that makes, here's the chart here that I also drew. This is Mago and Kung Yi and Soi, eight daughters, and as a couple, they produce three women, three men, three women, three, see, that's a, altogether six, right? Each couple produces six beings, six descendants, six, and that makes what? Six times four is 24, right? So we have number. These are the number that is introduced, one and two. Now you can imagine this, um, the sign of actually uh, Koreans call uh, Taeguk. You know, it's in, uh, in Korean, uh, Korean flag. So one and two, We'll get to this one. It makes three, right? Three is here. If you add one and two, so three is introduced. Then there's a four, right? And then in a similar way, we'll get to this one. So this is introduced. Here's the one, the generation after this one, they married and married, the population increased. So each clan had a population of 3,000 men and women, see? So altogether, 12,000 men and women, right? And it says also Budoji, these, they are represented by 12 elders. If this is 12 elders, then each clan has three elders. You see this uh, Mago Halmi, three, uh, Samshin Harmony right here. The triad, well, this is not the only way that we can explain about this, uh, uh, the triad deity, but here it comes. So, each community, clan community, ha, uh, are, is represented by three elders.